Hey guys, this is Sainton from Tech Solutions again back with another video. Today in my office I have this uh, Xiaomi Redmi 2 here with me and I'm going to unbox this today uh, for you guys and uh, I'll show you the box accessories also. So it comes in this uh, flip card box, the cardboard box, the price is 6999 that is 7000 rupees uh, here in India in flipkart.com obviously. Flipkart is the sole importer for this handset and here on the box it says 6999 so the price is same as the selling price. Here are the quick specification it says it's a Redmi 2 4G 8GB version the ROM is 8GB it's white in color it has FTD LTE, TDLTE and WCDM and GSM that means it supports both the 4G band in India as well as the 3G band as well as the 2G band. So it is very affordable 4G smartphone here in India. It has Qualcomm Snapdragon 410 1.2 GHz quad core processor with a 4.7 inch HD IPA display with fully laminated display. I will show it to you in this uh, video also. It has 8 megapixel BSI sensor in the back side and the front it has 2 megapixel BSI sensor as well. And uh, running on uh, the Mi UI 6 based on Android 4.4 KitKat and it has a dual sim and the, both the sims are supported uh, 4G at a time and it has 1GB uh, RAM, DDR3 RAM and it has 2200mAh battery lithium ion polymer battery and supports it says supports 4G, 3G, 2G network and it has uh, supports dual sim, dual standby so without any further ado let's get into the box let me cut the package here from so this is actually a brand new model and I have purchased it uh, at the launching day itself I I was very uh, excited about this handset because I have used the Redmi 1s and this Redmi 2 is supposed to be a very good upgradation over Redmi 1s so I have cut it a plastic. Let me uh, take up this uh, upper box. So as you can see this is the box and the phone is actually the size of the entire box. It fit into this box pretty perfectly. So the phone is very compact. Let me take out this phone. So this is the phone itself. Oh my god this phone is super light. This phone is so light and so slim and compact. Uh, regarding 4.7 inch smartphone it is too compact for a phone so let me put this aside and this is the box inner box let's see what are the things inside this box okay so this is some manuals me.com manual here it is it says in Chinese oh my god it comes in Chinese I don't know why I can't read this um, this is in English you can read this how to set up the sim cards and battery I'll show you to in this video as well so let me see what are the things further inside the box this is the charging brick the standard quality charger comes in uh, with this uh, handset let me see the power rating as you can see the power rating is uh, 1 ampere uh, 5 volts so this is a thousand milliampere so it is one ampere so it's not the two ampere fast charger as uh, like the Mi 4 or Mi 3 this is just a one amp charger but it should be enough for this uh, 2000 mAh battery so this is the standard quality USB cable let me show you the USB cable as well so this is the USB cable this is the USB port and the micro USB port is here here so the quality of the cable is as great as the previous one uh, excellent quality cable and this is the the battery of 2200 mAh let me see the rating yeah it says 2200 mAh and 3.8 volt Xiaomi battery orange in color very vibrant so let me take all this thing aside and have a look on the device itself so let me put the battery inside and then I'll show you the uh, overview of the sides and the outer side. So the back uh, finish is very matte finish. The back cover is matte and soft finish. It is not glossy at all. 
this is very very soft I would say let me peel off this camera sticker and let me also let me first put the battery inside let me see uh, here is the indent as you can see so let me put the battery first so here are the two sim card slots this is the sim one slot sim two slot and this is the micro sd card slot and both the sims are supported the uh, 4g lte sim card as well as 3g and these sims are micro sim card slot this is the micro sd card micro sd card up to 64 gb supported so let me boot up the phone first so it's give me a haptic feedback let me take this uh, uh, screen guard this is actually not a screen guard this is matte finish so it will uh, affect your uh, screen quality as well the touches so you should peel this screen guard off uh, as you can see the display is excellent it has a uh, asahi dragon tail coating so it should be very much uh, uh, scratch resistant let me give you uh, the physical overview first and then I will boot it up on the back there is 8 megapixel BSI Sony sensor this is the LED flash, single LED flash, the secondary microphone for noise cancellation this is the speaker hole this is me branding and this is not embossed this is actually painted and on the top there is a 3.5 headphone jack on the bottom there is a primary microphone as well as the micro USB port this micro USB port also supported the USB host that is uh, OTG functionality on the front there is a 4.7 inch display which is very compact the bezels are very very small here it says 0.5 millimeter and 0.5 millimeter on the each sides there's two megapixel front facing camera and all the sensors and earpiece, earpiece as well as here the home button back button and the multitasking button so let me set this up first uh, let me select uh, English United States India okay the phone uh, still is very very light uh, it's actually 133 gram in weight and the dimension is for 4.7 inch though the phone is very very compact compared to my Mi 3 let me show you my Mi 3 this is my Mi 3 uh, so compared to Mi 3 it is uh, pretty much uh, small this is 5 inch this is 4.7 inch but uh, considering the size of the screen this is so small so it is taking a little bit of time to uh, boot uh, the first boot the glass is very smooth as well this is a side dragon tail glass and uh, from the first impression I can say that the build quality is excellent I have used a ton of ton of phones but uh, the build quality is very good let me select Google keyboard for the first time uh, okay, let me just connect to my Wi-Fi network. Okay, I will just uh, skip this part and uh, uh, later I will connect to my Wi-Fi. Uh, sorry, I agree. Checking, it's checking for the SIM card. Let's see. So it says uh, continue without SIM card. Location, okay. You are all set. Agree? Yes. Okay. So it's loading the launcher. Hope you guys can see the screen. Uh, so this is the MIUI 6 running on this Redmi 2. The screen quality is very good I would say. Uh, compared to my 1080p screen, you can't notice anything uh, extra. I mean to say, look at these fonts. These fonts are... are as good as a 1080p IPS display in this uh, 720p display and the display is actually look at this thing it's look like a black slab instead of the Redmi 1s it has a silver border on there but here there is no gap between the glass and the LCD so it's the air gap has been re reduced uh, drastically so it says a laminated display and the viewing angles are also better so very compact phone for use this is uh, the layout let me show you the uh, the Android version here as you can see the Android version is 4.4.4 KitKat Android KitKat and also show you the storage first okay and the storage let me increase the volume full uh, storage so out of 8 gigs the available storage is 4.61 GB it's more than enough because it has a micro SD card expansion slot as well 
let me go back and see the display here and the brightness it has the auto brightness sensor so it's pretty good because it has an auto brightness sensor in this price the buttons on the bottom are not backlit uh, there was no backlit in the redmi 1s and there is no backlit either in this redmi 2 uh, but the buttons are in red color so they are very easy to find out and the screen size i would say very compact and the quality of the screen is very good let me take a picture with the camera and show it to you how the quality is okay it says store location no thanks so this is the camera interface So this is the camera uh, interface and if you swipe left you will get the live effects and so far swipe right you will get the panorama, audio, HDR, high, high tone sorts, manual, HHT and screen mode and the settings. You can go to settings and change the camera frame rates, picture quality etc. Let me, uh, this is the video recording section, you can record the video directly from here this is the uh, wrist and photo viewer it says uh, don't show you can ok internet connection uh, let me show you the picture quality I have just take this photographs uh, the picture quality is pretty good uh, considering it's a 8 megapixel camera the picture quality is really really good I would say I will thoroughly test this camera and uh, show it to you in the in-depth review uh, the in-depth review is coming very very soon hopefully by next week so stay tuned to my channel for that and uh, let me show you the speaker quality also let me see there is any music in my no there is no music let me uh, start a ringtone and show the speaker quality okay the speaker quality is really good it has a bass the whole phone is vibrating and the quality of the speaker is really good yeah the speaker is really really crisp but the quality of the sound is good Okay, that's enough so this is the first impression of this phone and I will come up with uh, my in-depth review as well as the gaming review performance benchmark and whatnot so that's all for this video hope you guys enjoyed my video please like my effort and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this thank you very much I'll catch you up